hi. Sorry I've been away, I was out to lunch. The meeting went well, in case you were wondering. Speaking of business, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. Well, if I was made out of $100 bills, I would be worth approximately $22.5 million. I calculated that on a long car ride yesterday. I was riding across the state to go buy some new pants and other articles of clothing. But jeans in particular, so scenario. I'm standing in front of this table with all these jeans and they're labeled skinny jeans, which is the style of jean I usually wear. And so I'm picking out the washes that I like and sandwiched in between these black jeans and sort of vintage wash jeans are these light faded, faded light, I think faded goes before light in the sentence structure. Faded light colored jeans. And I'm thinking, oh, I never wear lighter colored jeans, so maybe I should. So I grab some and I go to the fitting room with all these jeans and I'm trying them on and I get to the faded ones. What? What? What is this? What's this? Why, why aren't my ankles being squeezed and caressed by a gentle circumference of denim? What? I'm just going to take these off because they weren't skinny jeans. So odd and borderline unnatural. <sighs> Moving on, so a couple of days ago, I, I was just talking to a friend of mine and they asked me, what's your favorite genre of music? Sitting there thinking, I said, probably indie. And she looks at me disdainfully and I, I just say, what? You, you know what that is, right? And she says, yeah, yeah, I, I know what that is. That's Indiana Jones theme music. And I say, no, my friend, it's not only the theme music, it's the soundtrack. Earlier today, my mom came in my room and she's like, hey, you have a doctor's appointment in a couple days. And I'm like, okay, what for? I, I'm, I'm not sick, I feel fine. And she said, well, Alexis, you have to get vaccinated for human palomino virus. And I was like, well, if you insist. Yes, my mom thinks I'm in danger of turning into a horse or whatever human palomino virus entails. I, I know she meant human papilloma virus. I don't think I need to get vax or vaccina vaccinated for that. But um, I'll let them stick a needle in my arm. It doesn't bother me. Rather be safe than sorry and cervical cancer infected. Dang. And I don't want to turn into the tree man, so... Forging along, about half a fortnight ago, I was hoisted in a harness 200 feet in the air, hanging from nothing but a one-inch steel wire, with two friends on my side, and then... My friend Ashley pulled this little cord and we sailed through the air like a bird back and forth. It was amazing. The lady said, don't worry guys, this is the safest ride in the park. Well, thanks. Now I'm more apprehensive to go on the other one. The best $20 I've ever spent, honestly. I'm not really sure what the technical term for this contraption was. Where I was, it was called a rip cord. But if you ever see one of these things, I definitely recommend that you Take a ride in one, cause oh, migration. That's my advice for the day, and I hope you take it to heart. Sweet water and light laughs till we meet again. I need a haircut. I need a haircut dearly. <sighs> Bye.